You either knew about it or you didn't. The GameStop phenomenon. All eyes this morning are on GameStop. And we watched it like anybody else did. Yeah, I think there's something going on with people making a lot of money. <laughs> GameStop shares soaring more than 140%, 92%, up another 27% here in after hours. This was so much more than just a story about the world of finance, about markets, a story of the week kind of news story. It came from Reddit's forum, Wall Street Bets. Are those Redditors heroes? Are they villains? They're just people. It wasn't necessarily that it's just about GameStop. It was that moment in time during COVID that everybody stopped and paused and had this self-reflection. It was a very dire time, and people losing their jobs, losing their homes. It was something that told us so much about why we are where we are as a culture and what people can do about it. Because I think it's very easy to look around and say, things are broken, the system is rigged, there's not a lot of hope. But here is one story where people were able to come together and achieve something kind of miraculous. GameStop became a mouthpiece, it became a way which is why it ballooned to 8 million followers, for people to like be heard and to like to stick it to like, you know, the uber wealthy in their wallets, which is where they feel it. I think we were also immediately struck by the character of Keith Gill. Keith Gill, AKA Roaring Kitty. He's such a unique person. He's this like reluctant hero. He posted seven hours a week for a year. Hey, what's up everybody? Hey, what's up everybody? What up folks? We drew from everything no, from those posts, like all that information and try to stay as loyal to it as possible. Yo, what up everybody? Roaring Kitty here. The wild thing about Keith, there are so many wild things, but he's like one of the rare populist leaders who's not a crazy narcissist, who isn't just chasing fame <laughs> and attention and money. Here's this charismatic guy who through like hard work, like you know, determination, running and practice, actually like gathers an army, a team, and goes into battle into this like, you know, congressional hearing, which is like our championship game, and wins the day. When I wrote and spoke about GameStop on social media with other individual investors, our conversations were no different from people in a bar or in a golf course or at home talking or arguing about a stock. That was the beginning of it. And, and it's, it's just this constant uh, debate now. And I think it's just gonna get larger and this helps add to that conversation.